you might have seen some disturbing videos where children, if not toddlers, fight each other in the ring. Now, would you let your child practice Thai boxing after seeing this? Or would you say no? But what if there was a different path? Is there a safe way to practice Thai boxing for children? Let's find out. Hey there, it's Selena. I want to share something close to my heart. My Muay Thai journey. It, in Thailand, we say Muay Thai instead of Thai boxing. It's not just about learning to kick and punch. It's about having fun and being confident. Let's go back to the video from the opening clips and view it in a little more detail. Uh, this fight is pretty intense. I have to be very clear. This is not something I would want for my child, and I think that you might agree with me on this. So, what is missing here? Why are we even having this discussion? I started my time when I was a toddler. But at first, I didn't do so well up until today. The first time I trained seriously was in August 2023. My father wanted me to train every week. I was a bit nervous in the beginning. To answer my previous question, I want to share an analogy. They say that people kill people, right? Uh, guns, right? The same could be said about Thai boxing. Is it really Thai boxing in itself that hurts kids or is it the way we practice it? Why not pull the best from this ancient martial art form and use it to our children's benefit? What I like about Muay Thai is having fun. I have fun every time, almost every time. Just kick and box and kick and box and big big box. Thai boxing or the uh, art of eight limbs is more than just a martial art. And you can do many things in Muay Thai. You can punch, kick, and more. You know, it's actually a full body workout, engaging fists, elbows, knees, and shins. In Thailand, where Selena is from, it's an integral part of the culture. It's almost like soccer in Brazil. I never fight with other kids. I'm feeling safe when I'm training. In the beginning, I thought it was boring to train every week beyond physical fitness, it can foster mental toughness and concentration. Uh, this study that I, I will link down below tells us that kids involved in martial arts show improved attention span and discipline. You know, these are lifelong skills beneficial both inside and outside the gym. And towards the end of the video, I will give you some practical examples that will show you exactly how children can benefit from this sport even beyond the physical. Just think about Bruce Lee, who could be said to have been extremely impressive mentally and philosophically, even compared to his physical abilities. Uh, I, I'm in the middle, because sometimes it can be dangerous, but sometimes it will be not. If you are careful, it will be not dangerous, but if you do it too hard, it will be dangerous, right? So when practicing Thai boxing, safety is our top priority. With proper equipment and expert guidance, the risk in Thai boxing is much lower than many other popular sports like football or even soccer. The most fun thing to do is swimming and then Muay Thai. And, but I like to record videos for YouTube too. But, you know, the most important aspect is obviously that the child should spar with a professional and not fight other kids. In all of our videos, you'll see Selena training safely, focusing on skill rather than competition. And it doesn't have to be Thai boxing, you know, I'm sure there are other martial art forms in your area. And perhaps the effect could be similar. Karate is not about fighting. 
It's about discipline, setting goals, and working hard to achieve them. Now let's learn more about Selena's personal trainer. The most exciting thing to do is to meet my teacher, my Muay Thai teacher. He is very good at Muay Thai, and he kick you before, and then you look very tired. Hello. I am trainer Lek. I have been a professional boxer. I became the champion of Muay Thai Siam in the south of Thailand. Now I'm a trainer at the gym. Now Selena's trainer will give his thoughts on the greatest challenge when it comes to training children as opposed to adults. Teaching children is the most difficult. Children don't focus so well. Oftentimes they want to play. During exercise, for that reason, I have to play with them to make it interesting. I also teach children not to use Thai boxing to settle disagreements, but you can use it to protect yourself and to exercise. Because I meet him every Saturday, and I miss him because I don't meet him every day. In Thai boxing, I like to teach the basics first and gradually build on that. If you don't have the right technique, it could lead to injuries. Sometimes, mommy is very angry because I don't do good. I mean, I'm good, but I do like not strong. So after my mom said I did not do strong enough. Then, you know, Daddy talked to me about focus. That it is very important to focus on what you are doing. Thai boxing can definitely transform a child's confidence and even their approach to life. Uh, before we continue, I would like to ask you something. It would be very helpful if you could give a thumb up for this video if you enjoy it so far. But you know, it worked. I mean, when I focused more, I got better results. So then, I forgot about people watching me or filming me, and I wasn't bored anymore with Muay Thai. So after that, Daddy often told me that he was proud of me. How about visiting a Thai boxing class with your child? Um, you know, you can experience the discipline, fun, and respect for his hand, just like Selena's journey will show you here. And in other videos on this channel, martial arts can be a path to self-discovery and empowerment. Here's another parent's take on martial arts for children. Yeah, I think Muay Thai is pretty good. It's a uh, very active form of martial arts so it gives a lot of aerobic exercise yeah, it's quite good even even as a non-combat type of exercise if that's what you wanted to use it for i suppose the major concern would be there's a tendency to need people to kick very hard things and so that can damage shin bones and cause permanent scarring but you have to get pretty advanced to get up to that level. So I suppose for children, it wouldn't be much of a concern. Preparing our children for life's hurdles is our goal as parents, right? Thai boxing, with its blend of physical and mental training, offers a unique path to resilience and self-realization if done with the right intent. Like I mentioned earlier, I will now provide you with some specific ways Thai boxing develop children's cognitive skills. I think everybody should do Muay Thai because it's good exercise. So, this is number one. Imagine a typical Thai boxing class that starts with polite greeting, a bow, a sign of respect and readiness to learn. Right from this moment, children are taught to leave distractions behind and focus on the present. So the keyword here is focus. If you like this video, you must use your chocolate fingers to smash 
the subscribe button. Subscribe is better than like. Or think about this. As children learn different moves, they need to pay close attention to detail. Each stance, punch, or kick requires concentration. They must remember sequences and forms, which enhances their memory and focus. It's like a mental workout alongside the physical one. So my second point here is that martial art is improving the child's memory. The third skill that can be enhanced for children practicing martial art is their ability to listen. Listening skills are key in any martial art form. Children learn to listen to their instructors and follow directions carefully. This practice of attentive listening is crucial for developing focus and discipline, skills that are valuable in school and other areas of life. Um, okay, so I want to tell you the last way Thai boxing can improve children's cognitive development. Thai boxing isn't just about following rules. It's also about self-discipline. Children learn to set goals like mastering a new move or earning a new belt. The path isn't easy. It involves practice, patience, and perseverance. When they make mistakes, they learn to try again, improving their resilience and ability to focus on long-term goals. differently about Muay Thai now compared to before this video or did you already know about Muay Thai? Would you let your kid do Muay Thai? Can you please write a comment below? If you want to see more details about my journey, you can watch this video next. Darling? You call me darling? We are finished, right?